Welcome to Media Representation Week. Every day this week, a new video will be released detailing our examinations of the most popular media in the West and displaying how certain groups are super abundantly overrepresented in our supposedly meritocratic system. For all these videos, we encourage you to examine the data for yourself. A link to the spreadsheet for each will be available in the video description. If you have any questions about our methodology, please reference the FAQ, also available in the description. If you find any error in any of our spreadsheets, please email me at leatheraponchan at gmail.com. Include a quality source to back up your claim, and I will update the spreadsheet accordingly. Now, our next subject of examination was the podcast, Pod Save America. Lest our studies lead people to believe that our observed phenomenon was relegated to only more right-wing podcasts, we wanted to take a look at the world's most popular left-wing podcast, and lo and behold what we have found. 23.2% of all of Pod Save America's guests are Jewish. And because the show only has on political guests, the percentage of political figures was almost identical at 23.5%. So again, as with those shows on the right wing, we see that about a quarter of all of these guests come from 2% of the population. And I never seem to see anybody talking about this. Now, in the Harris video earlier in the week, I asked whether or not the ethnicity of the podcast host should matter in determining how many Jewish guests are likely to appear on a show. With this additional data from Pod Save America, are we any closer to answering that question? Well, it's still a bit tough to answer for sure, since we really only have a handful of data points here. But looking at what we have, we see that the two Jewish hosts, Harris and Friedman, have on 38.7% and 25% Jewish guests, respectively. The guests in their political categories sit at 42 and 70%. Averaged together, this means that 31.85% of guests overall and 56% of the political guests on these shows are ethnically Jewish. If you do that same math for the non-Jewish hosted shows, that is, Rogan, Peterson, Pod Save America, and a few others that we will be discussing later in the week, then you get 22.2% for guests overall and 26.06% for the political guests. So based on all of the data that we have gathered so far, this means that Jewish hosts represent Jewish guests at 145% the rate of the white hosts, and they represent the political guests at 225% the rate of the white hosts. For the hypothesis that Jewish guests are overrepresented because of a supposedly higher IQ, see this video that I made for an analysis of that claim, the fact that Jewish people overrepresent other Jews shows at least that even if they were smarter, it doesn't explain the entire issue. There is a potential ethnic preference going on here. And by the way, it's a dumb assumption to make that intelligence is what's required to be a guest on a podcast like Rogan's. So using it to explain their overrepresentation is a non sequitur. Now, I will be the first to admit that these results which point towards a potential ethnic preference are preliminary at best. We have only examined two podcasts hosted by Jews and five hosted by non-Jews. Much more research would need to be done in this field before we can determine how much of an ethnic preference, if any, there is by Jewish hosts for Jewish guests. But based on the data that we have so far, these are the conclusions we have to make. Now, there are still many questions that we have to answer with this study, and we will continue to do so throughout the rest of Media Representation Week. Look for a new video coming out at the same time tomorrow where we will be covering another political podcast host, Tim Pool. As ever, I have to put in this video that if anybody that I cover ever wants to talk to me on your show, I am more than happy to oblige. So Pot Save America, hit me up.